What's up guys, Spin Firearms here, and today we're going to be comparing two awesome, basically subcompact models, a little bit smaller than a compact, but a little bit bigger than a subcompact model, but chambered in 45. And there's a lot of people out there that still love 45, carry 45, and I get everyone's on 9mm, but some people like 45, so just let it be. On top of that, I just wanted to say this, right? Our community online is honestly turning out to look like other communities online. I sort of hate it. Right, we, you know, I get 90% of the people are awesome, but you have that 10% of everything in life that just ruins stuff, makes you look like crap, makes you look like garbage, stirs crap up, right? Go watch Hickok45's video recently he put out about people in the comments. That is a man you need to listen to. That is a wise man right there, right? And one day I strive to be just like Hickok45 because he is the best of the best, but what makes him the best of the best is he's a legit dude, right? He's an amazing shot and everything, but besides that, if you're not a legit dude, I don't respect you. It's just simple as that. So shout out to Hickok45. Another legit person, Rod, one of my subscribers. I don't want to give away your full name and all that. So we'll call you Rod, right? Sent me an email. Say, hey, you know, I, I don't have the 45 XD anymore. I got some small mags, some large mags. Do you want them? I said, sure. Why not? I love my 45. They got, the, got to me in like a week. That is the type of people I love in this community. Me, I give out holsters to people. I give out red dots to people. I give out sights to people. You know, I've been hit up a couple times for some stuff, and I'm like, you know what? I'll look what's in my bin. If I find something, it's yours, right? But if I don't find anything, you know, sorry. And sometimes people get stuff. Other times they don't. I don't do giveaways anymore because of that 10% of people. The scammers, the idiots, right? That's why I don't do giveaways, guys. Sorry, they ruined it. Anyways, today we're going to be comparing the Glock 30 SF. This is not the S model. This is not the slimmest version. Versus the Springfield Armory Subcompact Mod 2. The grip zone in 45 and stainless. The stainless slide. Absolutely love this handgun. Yes, I know I'm a terrible singer, but we will be bringing you the full grip zone song. I'm going to be making like a two, three minute song about the grip zone, its greatness, and how mighty it is, right? So that will be coming soon. I just need some... Uh, professional production on it right anyways two awesome handguns very flat shooting if you love 45 they make some awesome defensive rounds that's why I don't get why people count out 45 there's civil liberty defense underwood extreme defenders you have um, lay defense projectiles you have g9 defense you have unbelievable specialty rounds that make 45 an unbelievably hard-hitting round with very little recoil people complain about recoil if you're shooting a 9 millimeter and a 45. That trigger pull is the same. You should be able to hit everything the exact same. You shouldn't be flinching. That's what's throwing your shots on these larger calibers because you're so worried about that recoil. Let the recoil happen and just shoot. It's simple, right? Anyways, SLR Rifle Works base plate. So this right here, this setup is going to be 12 plus 1 of 45. Awesome bait plates, 100% reliable, 13 rounds of 45 ACP, or you can go with the flush mag, 9 plus 1 of 10 rounds. So very small and concealable with that flush mag, right? Then over here, the subcompact, that's also 9 plus 1 with the flush mag, which I'll show you. And then 13 plus 1 with the extended. So very similar setups, right? And I believe when you buy it, it does come with the larger mag and one smaller mag. So pretty versatile. This has a rail. This has a rail. So we can get that out of the way. They both are an optics ready. Cry about it. They're defensive pistols, right? Um, anyways, as you can see, both are cleared. Safety checked prior to the video. And both sound pretty dang difference now in terms of finish i love the xd the xd and all the spring fields that come in stainless the xds is the hellcat i have in stainless they look flawless it is the best looking stainless on an affordable pistol and what do i mean by affordable under a thousand it is absolutely beautiful no marking no marring no scratching occasionally you'll get some build up from holster or skin or whatever the case may be in your serrations and it shows but not a big deal awesome fiber optic front Three dot rear white. I wish the rear was fiber optic, but it is what it is. Always solid sights on these Springfields. Always. A um, little bit of texturing in the rear as well. Now, no forward serrations. Once again, cry about it. Boo hoo. Sorry. Uh, loaded chamber indicator. Witness hole. Awesome shooting handgun. But the one thing people make fun of is the grip zone. And I get it. It's stupid. It's dumb. We know where to grip it. But I also get what they were saying. They're trying to say, hey, we took the old model, what you guys complained about, and we listened to you. And we upgraded it, and they really did. It is such an ergonomic feeling handgun. And the texturing is probably one of my favorite texturings, to be honest with you. It's sort of weird, but I really like the grip zone. And that's why it's funny that everyone makes fun of it, you know. And this is one of my favorite ways to carry, right? Because it doesn't add any capacity, but you still get almost a full three-finger contact. But at the same time, where you print, 
there is no extra, right? It's only a little bit. So I love base plates like that that allow you to get three finger contact, which is mainly for a better draw, not shooting. Um, but absolutely love it, right? Obviously it does have a grip safety, but there is a benefit to that. Do I like grip safeties? Of course not. But to be honest, I learned on an XD Mod 1, my black one that you guys always see, that is the firearm I learned to carry with around in the chamber. And that's because I felt safe with it when I was new to handguns. This is the very first handgun I got, grip safety, and I learned to carry with around in the chamber. After that, Glock, Smiths, Alt, Rugers, all sorts of stuff. But I owe it to the XD Mod 1, to be honest. It never had a malfunction, and it's got like 14,000 rounds. My XDM's at like 7,000 rounds. My XDS actually broke a little over 1,000 rounds in 45, so that got sent back. But it had nothing to do with the grip safety, right? Let's check out that trigger, and everything just functions. Springfield also makes the best mags. They literally do, and they are affordable, unlike SIGs. Here we go, and people are going to say, oh, you're poor, but no, i just rather spend my money in other areas of life, like traveling and my kids and stuff, right? Anyways, trigger pull. It's a little spongy. Pretty crisp, pretty clean. Reset. A little longer than you probably want nowadays, but a good, very accurate trigger that you do not move the firearm at all when you pull. It is a natural, natural trigger pull. Now the Glock 30. Should I describe it? No, I shouldn't. It's literally a Glock. Gen 3. Rear serrations, crappy sights that come on it, comes with a rail, crappy texturing. It is what it is, but they run. They're beast, and this handles recoil like a champion. That's what I love about both these handguns. For their size and how small they are and still be able to be carried comfortably, they handle recoil like beasts. That's why people love the Glock 30. Also, it is actually a 45 that is so easy on your hands when it comes to racking the slide. It glides like butter, and I think that has a big role in its function is that guide rod and those springs. Trigger, though, it's a Glock trigger. A little spongier than the other one, but a little bit better reset. A little bit crisper trigger pull, but once again, a Glock trigger. It is what it is. It does what it's supposed to. It runs. It's not supposed to be a race trigger. It's not supposed to be special. It's supposed to defend your life. We're not competing. We're surviving, right, guys? Anyways, two awesome 45 options. I love every handgun. Doesn't matter what it is. I will test it out. I will try it. I will shoot it, and I will bring it back and give some honest feedback. Now, let's do the comparison. We'll drop both mags for that. So this will be their flush, you know, setups at 9 plus 1. The Glock is much shorter, right? Now we can do 12 plus 1 versus 13 plus 1. So obviously the XD has one extra round in these setups. Pretty amazing. Pretty dang amazing. Now we'll do length. Very similar. Obviously the Mod 2 in 45 was a direct competitor with the Glock 30s of this world and the XDMs also right because of their size are literally the exact same size they offer it in 45 that whole sort of thing two awesome handguns let me know your thoughts on them in the comments if you don't like them it is what it is but a lot of people do thanks for watching guys